giving us is they're giving us the zeros, right? And if you guys read the problem, it says, you know, given the zeros. Any single time you guys are given the zeros, right, we set them, as I mentioned, we can write them as factors. So the first thing that I always do is write my zeros set equal to x. So they said the 0 was 1, okay? but then it said m equals 2, which in this case was multiplicity equals 2. So multiplicity of 2, but I'm not, I didn't want to write it out, so I just said m equals 2, which represents the multiplicity. Okay? So anyways, that's the 0. They just said multiplicity is equal to 2. So I want to, we got to think about that. Again, what does multiplicity go for? But remember, multiplicity only matters when we're looking at the linear factors, right? So a couple things to remember. Whenever you guys have imaginary zeros, you remember there has to be the complex conjugate. You have to have the positive and the negative, right? Always. Same thing works with the irrational zeros. If I said the square root of 3, then we know that negative times square root of 3 would also be there. Um, so anyways, now I can write these as factors by setting them equal to 0. Right? Now, since they're all set equal to 0, those are the factors. I can write the factors multiplied by each other to give me my polynomial. So f of x equals x minus 3i times x plus 3i times x minus 1. But now, here comes into that multiplicity. It says the 0, 1 has a multiplicity of 2. Where does multiplicity come from? What does multiplicity mean? We know that multiplicity tells you that the graph bounces, right? It doesn't cross at the 0. It bounces. How do we know what the multiplicity is? When we first taught multiplicity, or I first explained multiplicity, I said it is the power of your factor, of your linear factor. So you simply just take the factor and raise it to whatever power your multiplicity is. Okay? If multiplicity was 7, you'd raise that 0 to a 7. If multiplicity is 3, you'd raise it to a 3. Yeah, because that one was the only one with multiplicity 2. And that was the exact same thing on your guys' homework on that quiz as well. I said the 1, 0 had a multiplicity of 2. So when you write them as factors, you put it to that multiplicity, the power. Because that's what the mul that's how we find multiplicity, right? So if there's a multiplicity of like three imaginary, would you put like three? These I? actually don't. These aren't real, uh, yeah. so they don't really have multiplicity because they don't actually cross. So there's really no sense of multiplicity for them. But does that make sense? Okay. So now we just multiply these out. Now when multiplying these, um, you know, I gave you guys a lot of these problems because you guys don't really get good at things or you don't start seeing shortcuts until you actually do problems over and over. And what you guys need to see about these is these are the difference of two squares. I don't need to multiply all the FOIL. All I need to do is multiply the first two terms. This is a binomial squared. I'm still surprised on how many students have trouble understanding that x squared minus 1 is x minus 1 times x minus 1. You guys should know what that binomial squared is, like this. This gives you x squared plus 9. This gives you x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, I'm just doing this quickly because I do this all the time. But if you guys, again, if you guys do the homework and you do all that practice, a lot of this stuff will make, uh, let's do it over here. So now, how do I multiply? Well, you could use FOIL. But the way that I showed you guys is I much rather prefer to use this box method. So I just do x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then I do x squared plus 9. Then you just multiply length times width to multiply those. Where did you get x squared minus 2x plus 1? I did x minus 1 squared. So therefore, I get x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus x squared plus 9x squared minus 18x plus 9. Those are like terms. So my final polynomial is f of x equals x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus 10x squared minus 18x plus 9. 
And that's all they're asking you guys to do on your homework. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 11, and 13, and 17, and 18, and 19, and 20, which I kind of give you guys a lot of those on because I was really trying to drive home a point, making sure you guys know how to multiply them.